at Governor Reynolds' private school scholarship program is now law. She signed the bill this morning. It failed to pass in the last two legislative sessions, but it only took a few weeks this year to make it to the governor's desk. It's a program that has pretty much split the people of Iowa in half. KCCI's Amanda Rooker starts our team coverage tonight with the bill's journey to passage. Steve, Governor Reynolds has faced opposition for years on this plan from both sides of the aisle, but today she celebrates a major victory, getting her top priority across the finish line just three weeks into session. With this bill, every child in Iowa, regardless of zip code or income, will have access to the school best suited to their individual needs. Governor Reynolds signed that bill into law today, and this new law means that if you want to send your child to private school, you can apply for a government-funded education savings account. So instead of the state sending $7,598 to a public school district, that money will go directly to an Iowa family who wants to send their child to private school. Now, this bill has moved incredibly quickly this year, following a lot of strategic moves to secure support. At the start of session, House lawmakers formed a brand new committee to consider Consider this bill. Then, in an unprecedented move, House Republicans allowed the governor's bill to bypass the normal budget process. Usually, every bill that distributes taxpayer dollars has to go through the Appropriations Committee. That's where lawmakers and Iowans can weigh in on how much money a bill would cost the state. But for the first time in recent state house history, the governor's plan skipped that step, even though her bill spends hundreds of millions of dollars in taxpayer money. That's a move that Democrats call unfair and fiscally irresponsible. This was rushed through, brought to the floor, a billion dollar program in 10 days. And that is simply not enough time to truly look at and have oversight over this much taxpayer money. Now, House Republicans argue they made that rule change because they say Iowans have already talked about this issue for years. And they say lawmakers have spent the past two legislative sessions looking at how this plan would impact the state budget.